Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I'm so excited for this show today. You guys, happy Thanksgiving to those of us in America that celebrate Thanksgiving. Being Native American, um, both of my grandmothers, I'm not quite sure what side to fall on for this, but I'm just going to go with let's all celebrate. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm trying to be funny. So here we go. I'm going to do some PSAs very quickly, and then we are going to get right into the show. Um, first, I will never reach out to anyone to ask question, um, to tell you to get a, a reading. So whether it's no matter where you're listening to me, no matter what social media venue, I will never say, hey, you need a reading. I do not have multiple social media, like on um, different social media things. I have basically, you know, one TikTok, one Instagram, a Twitter that I never, ever use. I don't know my password. I can't even take take it down. But um, I, I just, just know I will never reach out to you for anything not in an email, not in comments, not in anything, okay? So we have that out of the way. If you'd like to call in and ask a question about life, love, career, finances, or connect with a loved one on the other side, the, the call-in number is 414-897-2869. If you'd like to ask a question in the chat, please, by all means, do that. We've been chatting, asking, and answer answering questions. And it's been amazing so far. Okay. I am going to start with some songs and I need to repeat Heather's song because it's so funny and I just love it. So Heather's in the YouTube chat and she asked, um, what's my song for the day? And instantly I heard that monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. And they went, oh, we, oh, we, oh, jungle love. <laughs> Which just cracked me up. And so I told Heather, I didn't get to do the animal sounds, but Heather, there's your animal sounds that go with it. I don't even think I did the animal sounds correctly, but there we are. Also, um, I'm going to go into other songs that I am hearing, and then I will give you the songs. This could be a song that you love, a song that somebody on the other side that you know they're on the other side they love or a song that answers a question for you. If you've been having a question about, should I do this? Should I do that? Should, you know, whatever it is, um, this song could answer that question. So I'm going to just start with songs and I'm going to try to stay really focused on songs until we go to the names because I'm already getting names, but we're going to stick with songs. The first song is Brass Monkey, uh, Monkey Junkie or Funky Monkey. That Brass Monkey by the, um, I think it's the Beastie Boys. I'm pretty sure it's the Beastie Boys. And then the next song is, um, the song, it says, Let Me Love You. That I'm just hearing, let me love you. Do, 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 do. I can't do the beat of it. I'm, I apologize for that. And then the next song is, um, Oh, a client had this in my office the other day. Walking in the rain and the snow when there's nowhere to go and you feel like a part of you is dying. Something, something, something. Oh, God, that is such a, that's, oh, I love that. The things we do for love, the things we do for love, the things we do for love. I, I wanted to do like the, the change in the voice and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Sorry. I just ruined it. Um, okay. Um, the next song is, um, living on a prayer. The next song is, um, that song by Bon Jovi. Um, a, every rose has a, no, I'm a cowboy. That's the one they corrected me. I thought it was going to be every rose has its thorn, but it's I'm a cowboy. I think I if you 
uh, that song. I know that's the song. I know because they're showing me a vision of how I used to dance to that song. So I know it's that song. And then the next song, um, it's the cowboy one. But if, if, uh, dead or alive, that's it. Heather, dead or alive. Yes. Now, if every rose has its thorn has a meaning to you, take that song because it did also come out. The next song is, um, I gotta get out of this place. Um, I don't want to sing more words because if I get the words wrong, I don't want you to think that's not the song, but I think it's, I got to get out of this place. If it's the last thing I do, or we got to get out of this place. It's an older song. I can tell you that I can tell you it's a, an older song. Okay. So I hope that helps you. Um, if you know the song, please give me a word or two of it in the in the chat. Okay, that's the last song. Now I'm going to go to names. These This could be your name or somebody who's around you or in your family's name. This could be the name of a loved one on the other side. The first name is um, Mirasel. Mer I'm sorry if I don't have the, the accent or the pronunciation correct, but Mirasel. Mericel or Mericela, Mericela. Okay, and then we're gonna go straight into the Annas, Anna Marie, Anna Marie. And then we're going to go um, Beth, Rich, uh, um, Leilani. The next name is, and my tongue, this is for somebody my tongue, the tip of my tongue is so itchy right now. Like I'm trying to scratch it on the back of my teeth. It's so itchy. So if somebody passed like from an allergic reaction is what I'm getting. That would definitely be it. Oh my God, my tongue is so itchy right now. So if that is, if you know somebody who passed from an allergic reaction, this could be your, it's for you. Okay, please stop that now. It's so uncomfortable. It just started to when I was trying to get the next name. The next name is uh, Giovanni or yeah, Giovanni. The next name is Ivana. The next name is, and then they're making a joke and I'm not even going to tell the joke. Um, Okay, fine. Ivana be with you. That's the joke. Okay, for from Ivana. Okay. Um, the next name is Gaetano. The next name is um, Stefano. These are there. There are a couple of I know these names as Italian. Some of them they could be other names, though, too. They could be Nicholas, uh, Jack. Couple more. I'll take a couple more. Go ahead. Um, Lucinda and Jerry. I'm going to end it on Jerry. I am. I'm going to end it on Jerry for a personal reason. It just made me happy. And I know, I think I know who Jerry. Well, I have a Jerry on the other side as I, I have a, a Jerry, an uncle Jerry. I have a number of Jerry's on the other side. I'm sure somebody else out there has a Jerry and it's probably for them, not for me, because my Jerry's talk to me all the time on my time, not your time. Okay. I want to say hello, hello to all my peeps on, in the chat, Terry, uh, Rebecca, Heather, um, and then a bunch of people just came in. So I want to make sure I say hi to them. Amy, Karmic, Karen, just love that name. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Pine, La Pine Lake Apartments. Hey, can you call in tonight? The call in number is 845-277-9131. If you can call in, I'll give you your your messages from your, I know you've asked a couple times, Pine Lake, if you can call in, please, please put it that you're calling in. Um, Laura Waters, or if you've already called in, please let me know. 
um, and then uh, House of the Rising Sun. When I hear that song, the first, when I hear that name, I hear, there once was a na, da, na, na. It's such a cool, weird song. It's kind of like a song they should use in horror movies, right? Okay, call in, Pine Lake. I can't wait to talk to you. Um, okay. Uh, oh, wait, that's the we gotta get out of here, son. Okay, thank you, Karmic. Thank you, Karen. I'm just gonna try to remember to call you. Karen Mysterio, thank you for joining. Um, Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm gonna take the first caller. Again, if you guys wanna call in, I think because it's the night before Thanksgiving in America, there's not a lot of callers. So I will definitely get to everybody tonight. Um, but you can also put your questions in. I'm gonna go back and forth between callers and questions on here. Um, so please, let's let's make it work tonight. Um, and then I'm hearing that song, make a little love, do a little something, get down tonight, get down tonight. What is that? Uh, make a little love. What's the next line? I know somebody in the chat's going to know the next line. Make a little love. Na, 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 na. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Where's Patrick when we need Patrick, right? Patrick would be just like Karen would be right on top of every single one of these. Do a little dance. I was going to say do a little something else. I'm really happy that you know that. <laughs> I'm really happy that you know that. <laughs> I I thought it was do a little something else, but I thank you. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> sad. Says, I mean, you can if you want. Yes, you can, folks. We are all adults here. We are all adults. Okay. On that note, I am going to go to callers. I think I, if I didn't say hi to Amy Rich, Amy, hi, how are you? And if you do have a question, please make sure you push the one on the keyboard so that I know in your hand is up. Okay, uh, we are going to go to 860 first. 860, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Amla. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Amla. I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm doing good. I love your singing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but you don't me encourage me. <laughs> I have I have a comment, and then I'll, I'll go to my question. But Tony, I have not seen you before, like in action. And I saw you on YouTube. You're really beautiful. Oh you, you're just so your whole spirit. It, it's amazing. It's amazing just watching you. And you know, I have a visual impairment, so it's it's a blessing. It really is a blessing. So I I, I wanted to share that with you. Thank you, Amla. And you know, that means so much to me because um, it just does. So thank you so very, very much. And I'm happy that you're watching it. Oh, too. God bless you. It's, God bless you and your gift. But um, oh, thank you. I'm just so grateful for you. And and you're you're amazing. And you're reading. I, you know, I've I, I had private reading with you. And yeah. it's, it's, so, I still think about it. I still think about it. But something actually happened. Um. Uh, this is the, going to the question. Uh, my my friend James, like we were on and off, and we're still friends. But like he reached out to me. I don't even know what's going on. Like this, this is like is anything you've got with this? So are we rekindling our friendship? Is it growing into something else? What's going on? Okay, so first, um, I'm going to answer your question. Can you please tell people because I think when people see my show, they might be a little bit afraid to get a session. Can you please tell people my sessions are come, are a little bit different than my show is? Like on the show, I really do oh, try absolutely. to be entertaining and funny, but when, when we're doing a session, it's all about the person. Yes. Yes. And I love the fact that you're so direct, like all you guys up there, I'm telling you, like she's, she's so um, on point and she wants you, to, the, the, person the what's the client or whatever you want to call us she wants you to have 
the best amount of time for the what you. you ask for. Like she squeezes it all in. Yeah. And she gets to the point. And that's what I love about Tony. Yeah. I love that about you. Thank you, Amla. The yeah. one thing I'll say about my sessions is I've gone in for readings in the past and the people just like I've gone in for tarot readings. I've never met anybody that can do what I do. I never realized how, like, I've just taken my gift for granted because I've done it my whole entire life. So I've always gone to tarot readers and I've never met anyone who can really just like pop out answers the way spirit does for me. But in the past, when I've gone to tarot readers, I will go in with one, two, maybe three questions. And I walk out more confused than I walked in with a lot of readers. So when I designed my readings, I said, "Uh uh-uh, make a list of your questions. This is your reading. Anybody who comes to me for a reading, make a list of your questions. I want to be able to answer as many of those questions as directly and honestly for you as I possibly can. That is really important. It's almost like when I do hypnosis and I help people quit smoking, it's so important to me because my mom smoked for over 40 years and it was such such an incredible thing when she was able to quit and not smoke. For her and for all of us kids, we were so proud of my mom when she quit smoking, Ah. every last one of us. So to me, those are passion things. When somebody comes to me, tell me what you want so I can give it to you. And that's that's a non-negotiable. One person... Who I yeah, well, let's get to your question. Oh, I'm done, I'm done pimping myself out to everybody. <laughs> big pimping. Nah, 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 nah. We be big pimping. Okay, we're not gonna pimp anymore. <laughs> okay, but I did think of the funniest. First, I have to answer Amla's joke, and then I'm gonna tell you the funniest thing Spirit said to me this morning but first we're gonna tell uh, Amla this guy who's coming back in it's just gonna remain a friend friendship um and you go into this with the friendship like knowing it's only going to be a friendship and that will help it go further the person coming in for you is somebody that you have never ever ever met before and somebody that you okay you're so close Amla And I keep seeing the setting that you're, it's in an, like an office, like I keep seeing this setting for you. Now I'm going to, and I've seen this before for you. It's in like an office, like an office that you, like a waiting, that's it, a waiting room area. So, but it's not like a hospital waiting room. It's like an office waiting room like if you go visit a doctor or go to a doctor and they have a a a waiting room with chairs there it's that kind of waiting room now i don't know if this a doctor i'm assuming it's a doctor it 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 could be some other sort of waiting room but it's a waiting room area and i feel like you meet this person there and i feel like this person is there with somebody else they're saying also, so it's almost like, like if you take, it's almost like if you take your Another dad, person? I'm sorry. What, what did you say? He's with somebody else, like a, another patient. Wait, saying, wait, like, wait, 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 with another, wait, okay. it's almost like if you're taking someone, this is an example. It's not an exact. Okay. It's like. Okay, if sure. you're accompanying someone to the doctor and then they're accompanying someone to the doctor, it's almost like that. They're not with somebody they're emotionally okay. involved with, you know, like romantically involved with. Yeah. But I, this is what I'm seeing. Yeah. So we'll see what unfolds when this happens. Okay, love? Thank you so much. And, you know, <sighs> again, guys, you got to get a ring. Like, she's... Tony, you're amazing. Like, and I just can't even tell you. Like, I just love your private readings. It's just such a different, different way of doing it. And it, and it, it you'll get your answers. Thank um, you. You'll get your answers from Tony. Thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. God thank bless. you. Thank Happy you. Happy Thanksgiving. 
Happy Thanksgiving, Amla. And thank you. And thank you for saying that. And I just, I adore you. And happy Thanksgiving. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. you bye. Are, thank you. Bye bye, love. <laughs> hey, everybody that's listening, I know Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Plus, we have Christmas because, and then we have New Year's. Don't have expectations. Um, when you go, to family and or friends if you are going to family and or friends go in with no expectations no agendas for conversation as a matter of fact the best one of the best things like my sister does um a lot of the holidays especially now that my mom is gone and when when we go there to my sister's house for um whether for whatever celebratory thing we go there for, whether it's a birthday party or a holiday dinner, she has games lined up that we can all play. And they're always kooky and crazy and fun. And it's usually two teams that stand in a line. And my brother, my one brother, Mike, who, hey, Mike, um, he came up, he, one year he brought games where you have to put a potato between your legs and and walk to the bucket and drop the potato in the bucket. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Oh my God. The games they would come up with and they're really easy to do. And it just takes the the um, pressure off of conversation, sitting around, doing nothing. So have, you know, have, have some game ideas available. Go on um, some of the social media things and look up uh, games to play at get together. You will see some of the craziest um, things that are so funny. And my mom, before she passed, which my mom passed uh, three years ago, but my mom had lost a lot of weight right before she passed. And um, she had like the little skinniest legs with the knobbiest little knees. <clears throat> And she insisted on playing the potato game. And none of us knew how she was going to hold the potato in her little legs. It was, it's one of the greatest, greatest, um, greatest memories. I'm going to go to the, I'm going to go to the next. Uh, oh, wait, I have to. <clears throat> I have to go online. Um, I think Mysterio had the first question. You stated that there is a potential love interest coming my way in the next couple of months. Is there a name of the woman that I should look for? Oh gosh, I wish I I wish I could pop names out. <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, Mysterio, I wish I could give you a name. Um, what I can tell you is you are going to think to you, to you personally, this woman is going to look exotic, okay? Mysterio, can you please um, pop in the chat, what is your age, Mysterio, and where do you live? Just your age and the city, state you live in. Um, and I'll get a little bit more into that energy for you. I know that you are going to feel like this woman looks and or feels very exotic to you. And exotic could mean sophisticated or um, I'm trying to think of that other word. Um, uh, like put together very well, Mysterio. That's what I want to say. Hey, everybody, guess what? I'm going to have, after the new year, I'm going to have someone I really like on my show. And um, we had a conversation and his work is phenomenal. And I'm really looking forward to when he comes on my show. It's going to be after the new year. Um, but Sal... Sal is going to be on the show and he's going to be answering questions with me and we're just going to have a great deal of fun when Sal comes on the show. Um, it's going to be so exciting. I'm actually very excited about having Sal on. Um, so you guys, 
please watch for that show also because Sal is really good at what he does. He's very good at what he does. I'm going to go to caller 812. 812, what's your first name and where are you calling from? Uh, Jake from Indiana, also known as Pine Lake Apartments. Hey, Jake, how are you? Oh, not bad. Excellent. Okay, Jake, um, for everybody listening and or watching, how can I help you? I think I already know, but um, I, I want you to say it for everybody else listening. I was just looking to see if there was a message for my late daughter. And her first name is? Lena. Lena? Alina or Lena? Yeah. Alina. Okay. Alina. 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 Yeah, Lena Juliet. And how old was she when she passed? Uh, she was two. Okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think sorry, you Jake. may have already covered this before on why you were doing your songs the other day, but I'm just wanting to make sure. Okay. So the first thing I hear, Jake, and I'm going to go straight into this, and a lot of you are going to notice there's a little change in my voice, and it's because I am uh, channeling. She is with somebody on the other side that's an older, elder, an elder woman. Now, this woman has had her since the day she came back home. She had her before she came in, and she had her after she went back home. And this elder woman wants you to know, don't you worry, we got her, we got her. And the message or the song, I'm going to I'm gonna try to hold it together, you guys, because I'm just about to lose my poop here. Oh, shit. The song that's coming through is, I'm sorry, uh, nah, nah. I can't, I can't get the rest of, mmm. I can't get the rest of the words. Come on, you guys, let me get through this. She, okay, so the elder woman that is with your daughter wants you to know that uh, this was the, <clears throat> this was the plan all along. It was supposed to be like this, but you kind of knew that. You've kind of, on one level, you have accepted that, but nobody can ever accept that. I'm just going to say it's so difficult. The other thing that they want you to know is that uh, nobody ever leaves you. Nobody, nobody ever leaves. You just can't see them in the same way. She wants to tell you that she is always playing. She is always playing. Now, I'm seeing a dog. I think it's a dog. I can't believe my voice right now. You got, I'm sorry. Keep it together. I'm seeing a dog. She's always playing with a dog. So if you, if you had a dog in the past that has passed on, she's with that dog. But if you have a dog now that's with you, she plays with that dog all the time all the time. She also wants you to know that she is always like cr crawled up, crawled up on the bed or curled up on the bed. She wants you to know that um, the sky's the limit and don't, 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 uh, let me take a breath here. The sky's the limit, but then there's so much more. There's so much more. And then she's showing me like a lo a necklace with a locket, and uh, like a, 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 she's showing me like a locket. I don't know if anybody wears this, but there's a locket, uh, a locket that you open and there's a picture inside. She's showing me that. Both of the, the women are showing me this. Both of the women are showing me this. I don't know if this is something that you have someplace in the home. And it doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, it, Go it's ahead. hanging around the neck of her statue that is her, her uh, headstone. Okay. Thank you for confirming that. So she wants you to know she knows. She knows. She knows. And... um. <sighs> she, 
she is saying for what it for what it's worth she got the best of life and thank you she got the best of life and thank you um and she wants you to know that and don't ever forget it she got the best of life Jake, um, do, the yeah. elder woman. Do you do you know who the elder woman is? I can only think that it would be my grandmother, but she passed just here recently. Lena passed in two thousand seventeen. She was two years old and got hit by a truck. I'm so sorry. Um, could it be your great grandmother? I do have. Yeah, I did have a great grandmother that, that never. Met her in real life that had passed before. That I feel like it is your great <sighs> would be Mabel. I think it's your great grandmother because she had your daughter before your daughter came in and then after your daughter went out. Okay. Okay. So she, like before children come in, they're with our ancestors, they're in our family line learning us, and then they come in. And in this case, she went right back to the family line or the ancestors, as we call them. And the same person who, del excuse the terminology, however somebody else would say that, that's okay, this is just the way it's coming through me today. Whomever delivered her to you or held her up there before she came to you is directly the person who lifted her up and took her back home. And I feel like that would be your your great grandmother because she's it, it it's the same person that had her soul before and after that first face, that first face that she saw, okay? Okay. okay, Jake, thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful. Right. I really, really hope this was helpful for you. I do. I hope this was so helpful for you. Right. Well, thank you. It was. <sighs> thank you, too. God bless. And Jake, anytime you want to call back and get another message from her or anybody else on the other side, please feel free to do that. Okay, love? Okay, I'll do that. Thank you for thank calling you. in. Thank you. And thank you for watching online, too. Oh, I always enjoy watching you online. Thank you so much, Jake. You have right. an amazing... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I hope you have an I amazing have... Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, it'll be one at home alone, but I, I got my fur baby, so I think keep me company. That's awesome. That is so awesome. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving, too, Tony. Thank you so much, Jake. Thank you. Uh, bye, for, bye for now. Oh, okay, you guys. We're going to keep right on going. We're going to keep right on going. Um, uh, Kylie, where will I meet the one? Well, Kylie, first, how old are you, love? Um... Blessings to you. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Kylie, how old are you, love? And um, Kylie is 44 from Indiana. Okay, Kylie, the first thing I want to say to you is you're going to meet the one very soon. They're not telling me a month. They're just saying very soon. Very soon. You are not going to meet this person on an app. So get off the apps. You are going to meet this person in person, and you're going to meet this person from another person. I'm sorry if the way I'm saying this is confusing. I'm just channeling it the way it's coming right out of me. I don't like it. It's just coming right through me for you, Kylie. Kylie, the person's going to be coming in very soon. It's, I can't tell you too much because I hear surprise and I hear it's going to catch you off guard and it's supposed to. 
It's supposed to kind of take you by surprise or catch you off guard because if you're prepared, you... <laughs> I'm sorry, Kylie, you're like me. If you know they're coming, you're going to give them the hoo-ha, cha. <laughs> like you'll kick them out before they get in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is not funny. It might be true, but it's not funny. Okay, Kylie. <laughs> okay, Kylie. Um, so this person kind of has to catch you off guard. And the fact that you're going to meet this person through a person that you already know is going to be good, but you will not know. They're not going to say, oh, I know someone for you. They're not going to do that. You're going to be some, like, it's just going to be spontaneous or on the spot. Okay, Kylie, I hope that's helpful for you. I know that's not exactly your, the, the answer, but it's the answer you need or the answer you get because of, well, our personality, Kylie, our personality. <laughs> And it is true, right, Kylie? Like, don't tell me you're going to set me up with somebody. Just have that person show up in front of my face and awe me because otherwise I will cancel 20 times on that person. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say, Kylie, give this person a chance. And I'm hearing that song. All that I'm saying is give peace a chance. Well, give this guy a chance. <laughs> you can break up anytime you want. Just give him a chance to give, give him the, let him get out of the gate, Kylie. Kylie, let him get out of the gate. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to cut it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle. How are you today? Hello. I'm fair, you know. <laughs> I, I can, fair. How, um, how can I help one, you? Uh, one mm -hmm. question I have that. It's sort of bugging me. I, I have like this emergency uh, maintenance situation that um, I had ended up having three guys go in and fix the problem in the bathroom. And I'm not, it was in a different state. So, you know, this is long distance. And I had a guy that was recommended to me. He went in and he like just, didn't, didn't do the job, did a lot of bullshitting, flip-flopped from it's going to be $500 to $600. Well, you know what? You might have a problem. It's 1800 And I tried to get him to explain what the heck he's talking about. And um, basically what he effectively did was decock a tub to take the caulk off. And then I got a commitment that he was going to finish the job for 500 Then he changes it for 600 And then he wanted immediate payment. And the whole time is, I said, a hundred times to him, whatever we do, it has to be done in two days because I have tenants. It has to be done in two days. Well, you know what he did? He left it uncocked and he just tried to hijack me, like extort me. To, to pay him and I'm over there trying to pay and guess what the Zell didn't work twice and as it turned out he didn't even show up like the next day I mean okay he was really just trying to extort me so I had to get another guy in and I haven't paid him and that's the question like what should I do about this guy nothing the first guy, I would, any anything that's going to happen, let him take the action. Keep all of the text messages and everything in a file. 
Um, this is why you do everything through email and text messages. So you have proof. Um, he should have sent you a contract with an, uh, an exact amount and a, um, this is what I'm going to do in the time frame. If that doesn't exist, neither does his payment. If there's no contract, there's no payment. Now, if there is a contract and he he didn't fulfill it, then there's no payment. So nothing. You do nothing. No. You do nothing then. Don't do anything. Don't worry about if he right. says he's going to do anything. I had a guy send me a contract, uh, not a contract, but he said, I was the trustee of a trust. And this guy said, well, he, he owed me this much money. And I knew the situation from when this particular guy was alive. I said, oh, well, send me the contract. And he sent me a piece of yellow eight by um, whatever yellow paper. And he started to write it across the paper and then he ran out of room. So he circled around the outside of the paper, writing the rest. And I said, I just didn't, I never even responded to that because that's just ridiculousness. And that's what this sounds like. This is ridiculousness. Right. You just let it go. Don't worry about it. You have yourself a happy Thanksgiving and you just move on with your life. Thank you so much for calling in love. Okay. Thanks for your advice. I appreciate it. You are so welcome. And thank you again, love. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to the next question. Online. Sometimes, you know, I get it. We're, we're worried about what they might do. And we just want to know we did the right thing. You did the right thing. Don't worry, sweet pea. Don't worry. You did the right thing. You just don't cave to that sort of shenanigans. And that's so unprofessional. And in court, I'm going to tell you, unfortunately for contractors and bad contractors, in court, the person always wins against the contractor unless there's a really good contract because contra so many contractors are um, flim so flim flammy, so like whatever, um, that no contract, no, no, whatever. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, okay. Um, Okay. <clears throat> I'm looking at questions. I think we have a hookup. <laughs> I think we. <laughs> uh, Kylie, did you see P Pine Lakes? Um, Pine Lakes uh, message for you. <laughs> I, w w you guys, if you're single, get in my chat. Get in my chat and start introducing yourself to people. That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm Tom32. Are Kristen and I meant to be together or am I meant to be with someone else? Okay. Um, Tom, the first thing I want to say is there's, you know, we, we have free will and choice. And we're not necessarily meant to be with a specific person. Now, I know everybody wants to talk about soulmates and twin flames, which I say this, if it's a healthy relationship, keep it pushing. If in any way it's unhealthy, unpeaceful, or confusing, push your way out. That's it. That, those are the two choices. Forget about the titles that everybody puts on relationships. It keeps us unnecessarily in dysfunction and BS. And I'm a romantic person. Okay, don't think because I said that, oh, she's just not romantic. I am. That's why I believe that. Because... If you're in a relationship that is dysfunctional, it's very difficult to be feel safe and be romantic because you never know when it's going to go sideways. We don't want sideways. We want straight mother fudging forward, straightforward relationships. Everything else can go sideways. Okay. So, Tom, what I'm going to say, you and Kristen. Is Kristen, are they gonna? So I ask the questions a little bit different, Tom. And what I ask is, uh, is this a healthy relationship? And I get I get kind of a no on that. It's not always healthy. There's, there's some things going on in this relationship that should not be going on. 
Um, some of it you know about, some of it might not be completely known. Um, I think I'm, I think, here's the way I'm going to give you your reading, Tom. I honestly feel like the two of you will probably be together for two or three more months. You're going to make it through the holidays. After the holidays, but before March, me, you're probably going to give, you're probably going to go, go your own, you, um, you two might separate and go your own way. And I'm hearing that song, you can go your own way, go your own way. I'm so sorry for everybody's ears right now. Can call it another sunny day. Yeah, that song. I'm hearing that, okay? After that, now I don't think the person's name is April, but hey, if it's April, this girl wants to know. Either in April or it's an April, you're going to meet someone. But I feel like in February, the two of you are going to kind of separate. You got to keep them separate. Um, I'm sorry that I am singing this because you're probably, this is probably not the, I'm not trying to make light of it or make a joke about it. But when spirit brings things through, I, I go with it. What I'm going to tell you is when, by the time you two separate, it'll be very okay on both sides, okay? And I'm not saying that it won't be difficult because breaking up is always, or separating is always extremely, extremely painful. You know, it hurts. You loved this person. Um, but I do feel like either... In April, April, May, you're going to meet someone new. And that's going to be a person who's more in alignment with your values and your views. Someone who is wanting to build or can build a really solid future with you. Um, I hope that's helpful, Tom. And I hope that I didn't. Um, I hope you don't think I'm too insensitive for the way I delivered the message. But when it's a when I'm on air and it's a little bit of a challenging uh, question or a challenging answer. I always try to make it a little bit lighter um, for the person who's receiving it and for everybody else too. Okay. Um, okay. Now I'm going to go to the next caller who is 216. I don't think I did 216. 216, what's your name and where are you calling from? This is uh, Desmond Carter from Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, how can I help you today? Uh, yeah, someone knows it. Can you um, get any message from my father? Because yeah, he passed away Sunday. Oh, on the uh, crossover, and you have any messages? Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, what was his first name? Love. Albert. Albert. Oh, that was my dad's name too. Okay. So the first thing I want to let you know that when you were asking, I instantly saw women, women coming in and I'm assuming they're women that he is for, like his mama. There's a really, I don't want to call her a big woman, but like, you know, a healthy woman come, she had right. a big bosom and a nice, like she I don't know why they always say that she had a big bosom. I don't know why they always, but that's a good way to describe someone, I guess. If I, there, okay, there are three women that instantly came forward. And then when you said his name, I saw him come in in front of them. So yes, he's here. And I just want to give you a message from him. The first thing he said is thank you. And the second thing he said is I'm sorry. He feels like maybe he wasn't always the father he should have been. He feels like he he probably could have um, stayed or stuck around. I don't want to miss miss and I don't stayed or stuck around a little bit more. Now, whatever that means for your situation, the next thing that he is saying is he is he he. I hear that song, the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon, something in the dog on the moon. Those are not the words. I know they're not. But my son, 
he grew he's just like me i'm just like you dad I, uh that's it i i bypassed i tried to go fast forward past all the words to get that to that he's saying be a better version of him that's what he's trying to say like there are some things he did in his life he could have done a little bit differently. Don't don't follow in those footsteps. Be a stronger, better version of him. Learn from his mistakes or what he might have considered mistakes and do a better do it better. Um he's letting me know that there's a business inside of you and that you really um start working on that and then the the other thing he wants to say is thank you. Thank you. And, and then the song comes through. And if you want to know what he's thanking you for, he's saying, thank you for being a friend. That song, I think it was from, a, thank you for being a friend. So, and he, <laughs> yeah, that one, okay, thank you for laughing. He wants you to know that um, even though he, and I'm, I'm channeling now, so however he would have meant this or whatever he would have meant it for, please understand it in, his ways, not just my words. He's saying he wishes he, he he loved you. He wishes he could have loved you in a, he loved you in the way he could, but he wishes he could have loved you in a more all-encompassing way. Like without that macho, without that guard up, without that, um, you know how dads feel like they have to be so tough with their kids sometimes. I don't know if that's it, but right. I, get, I get a feeling that's it. Like he should have shown you, um, come on with the word, come on with the word. He should have shown you um, comp a little compassion sometimes instead of always being some, so stern. Or, But he needed you to be tough. He needed you to be, I don't know if I'm getting this correctly, but... But thank you. And he can do this now, even if he, if this doesn't sound like him, it's because he's left his body, but he can tell you now, even if he could never say it before, you're a really amazing man and he, he loves you and he wants you to know he's proud of who you are and where you're going. Don't let anyone talk you out of what you know inside of you and that's his message for you oh okay i understand what he's saying good 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 he wants you to know there okay. there is a business inside of you there definitely is a business inside of you okay okay so make sure that when you get that idea or when you hear you ch ch do go for it go slow but go for it okay love okay oh thank Appreciate you so it. oh absolutely my pleasure thank you so much for calling in i'm so grateful i was able to give you this message and happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to you thank you so happy much holiday. and i'm so sorry for your loss and happy holidays happy holidays oh, thank you you are so welcome and God bless, love. God bless. Okay, I'm going to try to get a question. I want to, hey, Patrick, you're leaving for California tomorrow already. Ah, oh, you guys, I can't believe that. It's so soon. You're leaving on Thanksgiving, Patrick. Okay. Da, 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 da. I'm good, trying to find the next question really, really quickly. Um, uh, Patricia, hi, Tony. I'd like to travel in 2024. Should I visit Costa Rica only if you take me with? That's a joke. Um, first or Ecuador in the off season for more affordable trips? What should, should you go to Costa? I feel like it's Costa Rica first. Ecuador, no. Costa Rica. I'm getting, Costa Rica feels, Costa Rica feels easier, lighter. Ecuador feels like it would be very heavy. Um, not as good of an experience. So when I feel the energy of the trips, the first, the first trip, 
if if I'm saying Costa Rica feels like let's have some fun, let's dance, let's ooh hoo hoo, not ooh hoo hoo that way. No, no, no. Um, well, unless of course you're an adult, you can do what you want. Um, where Ecuador feels a little heavier. Ecuador feels like it would be more confined and not as good. Like, I feel like maybe during that time, there might be some sort of weather thing, or I don't want to use the word tragedy or something. Uh, it doesn't feel I, it, like it literally when I say Ecuador and looking at your time frame, it just kind of makes my heart hurt. I don't know. I'm going to just say Costa Rica. And we're going to, we're going to let that we're going to let it be Costa Rica. We are going to let it be Costa Rica. Okay, love. We are going to let it um, let it be Co Costa Rica. Um, okay. Little boy blue in the man. Yes, that's it, Patrick. <laughs> it's so funny because I'll sing a song and I'm channeling. So I completely forget I sing a song and then somebody puts the next lyric in and I end up completely singing the next lyric again. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love you guys. So stinking, stinking, stinking much. I love you guys. I don't think I have time for another caller as everybody who's been with my show for a while knows, but for those of you who are new, this show gets recorded for TV. Therefore, I always have that hour time slot to fill and I don't like to go over the hour because on TV that doesn't work so well. Um, but I am going to try to do a pop-up show tomorrow. So please, whatever you're listening to me on, um, hit whatever you need to hit so that you know when I come on tomorrow and you can catch the show. You can uh, call in and ask questions if you did not get through today. You can uh, join us live on YouTube for um, to put your questions in there. So if you're available tomorrow, you can do that. Um, I also want to say I'm here every Monday at noon Central Time and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. I try to be here both times. Um, I try to be here at those both days. I'm here always at those times. Those are my show times for the show that we put on TV. The pop-up shows don't always end up on TV, <laughs> you know, because, um, but if you, if you do join in to my Rose show, it'll be a lot of fun. Hey, Kim, how are you? Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, when should we go to Argentina? When are you thinking, Sal? Give me a time frame or two different times and I'll tell you which one works best for you. Uh, Heather wants to know, can I do a clearing for happiness? Like not being sad during the holidays. Oh my gosh, Heather, that's such a good one. Okay. Um... Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So, um, all sadness and grief for those we have lost has healed, cleared, and released. I get a no. All sadness during the holidays or what happens during the holidays has cleared, healed, and released. No. All that caused it. No. Oh, thank you. For those of you who stuck around to the end, you get the bonus round for sure. You get the absolute bonus round of the clearing. Um, we are happy. Let's 60 strengthen seconds. all the happiness. Okay. I just want to tell you guys, in case you can't make it tomorrow, I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful and safe Thanksgiving. If you are traveling, driving, whatever it is, please be very safe on the roads. Uh, look around you. Make sure you're keeping your eyes out on other drivers. And if you have to stop at gas stations, be very well aware of what's going on. Don't be afraid. Just be aware of your surroundings at all times. I love you all so much.